Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSci Studio, and welcome back to your 24th Java programming tutorial. So, in our last tutorial, we learned about um, return types with methods, and we basically returned a string type. But today, we're just going to be doing we're going to be doing the same thing. We're just going to be using an integer instead, and we're going to be doing a little bit of math. So, yeah. So, if you guys don't like math, don't worry. It won't be that boring. It's not like we're going to be taking derivatives or anything. It's not going to be anything complicated. We're just going to be adding a couple numbers. Or multiplying or I don't know I'll think of it when we go on if I feel a little uh, daring I might do some division uh, so yeah let's first off let's make um, a variable and we'll call it int um, number and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a yeah why don't we just I'm too lazy to make uh, setter methods like we did uh, in the last tutorial so we're just gonna make two number variables and we're gonna give them a value of 70 and we'll make another variable number two and set it equal to 10 so we're gonna make a method with a return type of integer and it's gonna just return yeah I feel daring today so we're gonna return the um, the answer of a division question so I forget what it's called is it like what is it uh, Addition is sum, subtraction is um, difference, uh, multiplication, I don't remember, whatever. Who cares, I'm going to be dividing two numbers, I'm going to be spitting the answer back at you guys. So um, so let's make a public static int, because we're going to be returning an integer value, and we're just going to say get, get answer, I don't, I don't remember what it is, but whatever, nobody cares. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing, oh yeah, and we have to make these uh, variables static because um, we're going to be accessing them in a static method. So we just got to do that. There we go. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to return the um, answer to the division. So we're just going to go return. Um, what we got to do is we're going to put brackets here and we're just going to take number one. And then we're going to put our forward slash number two. And then finally our semicolon. And basically what this is going to do whenever we access this uh, method here is it's going to take number one and then take number two and divide them. And it's going to return the answer to us. And we could do whatever we want with that. So in our main method here, we're going to want to just go um, S out. And I'm going to make a little string. Let's say the answer is dot 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 and answer is spelt wrong but I don't care um, plus get answer and then circle brackets so yeah let's just run this thing let's see what 70 divided by 10 is oh it's a 7 good I was right uh, so basically what this program did is we made two integer variables 70 and 10 um, then we made a method that had a return type of integer and it just takes the two numbers that we set here and divides them and returns it whenever we call it so basically this acts as a variable in itself it basically just holds our value that we calculated right here and basically we just printed it out on the screen so that was pretty much a repeat of the last tutorial I think this tutorial was actually easier than the last tutorial so I probably should have done it first but whatever who cares? Uh, yeah, so please subscribe if you haven't already, uh, and comment and rate this uh, video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.